Well, good morning. Today we're going to look at a little AM radio tuner pack for cassette recorders. I have some questions about these. I don't quite understand what the point is. Super heterodyne, three transistors, one diode. Just insert it and go running. To demonstrate it, we're going to use the uh, Craig 2603. These are very common. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the 2603. There is at least a half dozen reviews on YouTube about these, including one by Cassette Master, so you can check those out. It just happens to be the only one of the cassette players I have that I looked at that this would work with. I tried this in many of my others, including the Bell & House, because it looks kind of like them, and it just wouldn't work. I finally got it to work in here. So we'll take a look at this for a minute. So as you can see, there's a uh, tuner dial, a little thing that contacts the record playhead. A place to fit in the spindles and a little, uh, I think that's a four and a half volt battery maybe in there. I only get a few AM stations and really hardly anything with this. Uh, that might be a problem with this because it's so old from the uh, late 60s. Um, or it could be my general AM reception here, so I don't want to totally damn that. channel sometimes. Just a little right there. Nothing else anywhere on the dial except static. The first station in my area is at 810, so I only get to use a little bit of the dial anyway. But I guess the biggest question I have about this is who was this marketed to? I mean, if you had a cassette recorder, you had a cassette recorder. This doesn't give you any advantage. I mean, you could buy a transistor radio, which is much easier, probably better, not much bigger. Uh, we probably had better quality. You still needed to carry something much bigger if you wanted to use this. Uh, you had to use five more batteries, maybe four or five more batteries along with this one. I don't quite see what the advantage was to anyone to have a tuner pack for AM radio when you could have had a separate small transistor AM radio. I finally decided it was probably marketed for people like me. Uh, just gadget freaks. It was something to buy that you could use in your electronics. Uh, looking at it that way, I guess I don't have a problem with it. I mean, I might be 40 years late, but I did buy one. That's the cassette radio tuner pack, which is uh, doesn't have a name on it that I could really see. If there was one, it was down here at one time, but it's missing. And the Craig 2603 cassette player. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.